We need to pray. No time to run. I don't know, maybe there was somebody hiding under the table. I don't know. But one thing I know. When God gives us an assignment, you complete the assignment unless he told you otherwise. We are not intimidated by the works of the devil. We are not intimidated by the powers of hell. Yeah. Like the mayor of Chicago. Abu, uh, the mayor, not Rachel Mayor, the mayor. <laughs> She's the authority in the area. So one of those gangsters. Nothing, uh, well, we go to banks on, but you know, Carl Bullock show his muscles <laughs> if there is any. <laughs> but he said he started to burn. Yeah. What makes the difference? Yeah. What is the difference yeah. between the ordinary and the extraordinary? It is the presence of God. Amen. In Exodus chapter 33, the Bible tells me that Moses went to God and he said to the Lord, listen, don't let us go from here until, unless your presence go with us. What will all the nations of the earth say? If your presence doesn't go with us. Yes. I want to ask you this question. What is the government going to say when we approach them? Oh. And tell them we sick and tired of this lockdown. Yeah. We cannot confront unless the presence of the Lord Woo. is with us. Yeah. You cannot be bold unless the anointing of God is upon you. I'm here to tell you right now that while we pray, like the apostles praying in Acts chapter 4 verse 29, Lord, look at the threats. You know, the government can threaten you. They can lock you up. For not wearing masks or do this or walking down the street or whatever if you disobey the law they can do that but when the presence of God is upon you Come on. they will obey I believe there are some churches they want to go and approach the government they want to this is nonsense if you go to Nigeria Most of the places are packed, although there's space, not as much as we have. But they are at least 50% full. This is foolishness. Yeah. Yes. I mean, How can a, a church of, of 7,000 and 50 people in? Something is wrong. That's right, that's right. Something is wrong. And as a servant of the most high God, yes. man didn't call me. Otherwise, I would not even waste my time sitting here, standing here, yes. preaching the gospel of the kingdom of power. Moses said, Lord, I will not go from here unless your presence go with you. Ruach Esh, I decree and I declare from this fall, day forward, there will be a tangible manifestation of the presence of God like never before in this house. If we see God do miracles in the past, we will see him do greater things than we ever experienced. The power of the enemy over our nation, over this land.
grace was upon them. You will hear the scripture many times more. You see, the presence of God brings great power. Come on. Great power. Come on. Great grace. To see what God do. What is grace? It is God's unmerited favor. When great grace come upon you. You are paper with God, you are paper with me. I pray right now, let great grace be released upon your own life. Lani, promotion is your portion. I said promotion is your portion because favor is activated and released. Anyone that wants promotion in your life, Right now, say Lord, grace upon my life. Great grace upon my life. So the presence brings boldness, brings power, and it brings great grace. by God. But from this day forward, the tangible, I said the tangible, the tangible, grace of God, power of God, boldness of God will be activated upon your life. The presence of God separate the ordinary from the extraordinary. The presence of God separate us from the world. Now the presence of God is a manifestation of the grace of God upon your life. If you don't agree, say, Amen. Those who are under 
hear the sound of my voice watching me right now. The presence of the Lord is upon you. I said the presence of the Lord is upon you. It is time that we learn in the throne room of God where the presence of the Lord dwells. Like the Ark of the Covenant, when you go into the temple, you will find there's the outer court, there's the inner court, and there's the Holy of Holies. We know that God is everywhere. His presence is everywhere. But can I tell you, He's not manifested everywhere. So when you begin to walk, the presence of God begin to walk with you. The presence of God brings boldness, power, and great grace. The Lord's unmerited favor has been activated today upon your life. You don't deserve it. I said you don't deserve it. But it's still upon your life. The church book of the presence of God is the basis. The presence of God makes the difference in our life. Whether we walk in success or in failure. Divine presence brings divine divine healing. It brings supernatural provision. Tell somebody next to you, I release it over your life. From today, whatever has been lost has been restored right now. Great payments upon your life. The presence of God 
will bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. Come on. Here the Yatra. that I was looking for. In Isaiah chapter 63, he said, in the their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angels of his presence saved him. If God sent me, I mean, I know that Apostle Johnson Suleiman has been under great attack false accusations and stuff like that. But you know, for a man to go up to the north of Nigeria and go into a Muslim dominated area where they like to kill Christians, to hold the crusades. It will cause all the boldness. The angels of his presence must manifest in that place. Amen. Otherwise you cannot do it. Not in Nigeria. With the radical, what is that, uh, Bukhara. And what is the other one? Fulani Hirschman. That kill people like flies. He said, in all their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angels of his presence saved him. I release over this house, I release over your life the angel of his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. It is love and it is pity. You redeem them and born. And carry them all the days of old. I pray today you will be carried by the angels of His presence. Wherever you go, you will be so highly favored. Imagine Lani is walking into our office. And the one on top of top said, I want to see you. Somebody said, Maybe. Maybe. The angel of his presence will accompany you. I said, The angel of his presence. No more fear. I pray right now that the Lord will open somebody's eyes. Whenever we go to hostile territory, 10 feet, 20 feet, angel of his presence will manifest.
was the jetta. I can't remember. And he went down behind the sea. He was quite a tall man. He went behind the sea. He said, I don't want to go into in a body bag back home. I told him, listen, young man, I told him, whenever this is where we work in this area, if God sent you, you don't need to be afraid. Amen. Because he keep the spirit without measure. I release over each and every one today the angel of his presence. Isaiah 64, and I think I need to close with this scripture. Such a powerful scripture. Oh, that you would rent the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake in your presence. Every mountain, even the government, the seven mountains will be shaken by the presence of the Almighty God. Education is a mountain. And they teach all the garbage. They tell the children, you can have an abortion. Your mother had no right to stop you. Yeah. I come up against the education department and I destroy the mountain because his presence melt like wax. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. I pray right now and I release that a godly government will arise in the next three years, in the next five years. Every evil will be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I tell you, the only thing they can do is look well. Mm. Or say this. But I'm telling you right now, they must be removed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We can't have a president telling people to go and rob somebody and steal and get away with it. Yeah. Come on, say it. You know, but I know the president is a vendor. I went to the vendor area and I allowed the vendor people. A fire burns brush you as a fire causes water to boil, uh, to boil to make your name known to your adversaries that the nations may tremble at your presence I think what is the name of Bohar or Bohar Mock the church. Mock the Bible believing. I mean the land in America is so wicked. The same as the land here. They hate God. Anything that's church. They want the people. Those who are conservative. Like the Nazis and communist China and Russia. The Marxists. You have to be reprogrammed to follow the leftist ideology. I place a curse Come on. on that ideology. Amen. Not on the people. On that ideology it will go down the mighty name of Jesus. As we said, CNN is not going to be bankrupt. It is bankrupt. 
the destruction of ABC, NBC, that God will raise up God in media people. Amen. But someone might say, but you know, this is what prophesied in the last days. Wickedness will increase. They will become lovers of themselves. They would hate God. It is normal. If we expect the whole world to be saved, then it's not the time for the church to take a step back. Come on, come on. Because we have a step back. It is time to take a step forward and to make a top back like never before. I said like never before. I release over the church of the living God the presence of the almighty God. The presence of the Lord mighty manifestations of his presence mighty manifestation of his presence I release you in the mighty name of Jesus I see his 22 mighty manifestation of the presence of the Lord this morning on one of the channels sir uh, Church channels, beloveds. I don't like to attack other men of God on 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 issues. But when I watch this program, he's mocking the manifestation of the power of God. He's mocking the prophetic. He said the people don't need those kind of stuff. He said he moved in those kind of things. The kingdom of God is not in wood, but it's in power. Yes. He said people don't change. Then there's something wrong with what you represent. How many of you, your life has been changed? by being part of this ministry. Amen. He made a mockery and said, Alicia, I'm prophesying now, and I say, oh, your name is Alicia. Why is it that, well, he was talking about himself, but I don't want to mention his name. Why is it that you want to know your name, you know what your name is. You know why God revealed a name? It is to show how much he loved that person. And to activate and create faith in somebody's life. I remember great prophet of God that went home to be with the Lord and I will use this example that we will sing that song in the presence of Jehovah. Kim Kramer, I read the book about the prophetic. He was in P.E. or somewhere and there was a Muslim family he called somebody out by name and told them, you've got a family member that is dying of cancer. He mentioned their name. And the man came forward and he prophesied over the man. And the man said, but I'm a Muslim. He told the man, go and lay hands on your father and your father will be healed. The man that was 
the Muslim, he didn't say you repent. He laid the hands of the man, the man was totally healed and restored. Every one of that family came to the Lord Come on. because of a name. Yes. Don't let anybody tell you. In this house, we believe in the power of God. Manifestation of the glory of God. We believe in the fire of the Holy Spirit. We believe in the glory of God that will be manifest, made manifest in the house of the Lord. We are tired of dead, boring services. We want to see Jesus manifest himself. Worship him come to the front. We get to sing that song in the presence of Jehovah. Can we stand, beloved? Lift your hands. Ask the Lord, or Lord, let your presence go with me. Ask Him, open your mouth and ask Him. O oh Lord, open your mouth, beloved. Ask Him out loud. It doesn't look like you understand what I say. O oh Lord, let your presence go with me. Manifest your power.
going to increase upon your life. You will experience signs, wonders, and miracles. I mean, the depth that you experience currently, you will go deeper, you will go higher. Bradley, you as well. Raise your hands. Right now, right now, right now, what is past is past, what is over is over, a new season, a new season, my sis God is touching you in such a way, you won't even believe it. 
praise the name of Jesus. I want Prophet Bernie and Prophet Robbie and, and my brother to come, come and stand here. As you lift your hands, I'm going to blow. We're going to blow over the mic. the angel of his presence to manifest in this house and in your life. One, two, three. I speak to every organ, I speak to every organ right now, restoration and healing in the body right now. Right now in Jesus name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your mighty power. Hallelujah. We give him the highest praise. We praise him. I'm always with the highest praise. Hallelujah. If somebody got a word, just release it short. Just short, a prophetic word. Praise the name of Jesus. Rachel. Um, I have 
just saw the, and heard about the spring balls is there is there's a woman, she, she, she's not online, but a family name is online. But the spring balls is she has lost three miscarriages. There were three miscarriages. And so, but if she can hear it, whatever. So the spirit of the Lord says there was three miscarriages. The Lord says that I'm about to give you a son, says the spirit of the Lord. And the spirit of the Lord will say that even though as God's going to give you a son, the spirit of the Lord says his name will be David, says the spirit of the Lord. And God says, you and your husband has been given up. Even one of the family members has said, maybe your woman's been causing you. You actually went even to a doctor to try to figure out what is wrong. And you said, no, but that's the only only option that the doctor gave you something to drink. It's like a water thing that the doctor gave you to drink and it affected your womb. But the Spirit of the Lord says that I'm, gonna, I'm touching your womb right now. And the Lord says this time, the Lord says you will testify of my goodness and of my grace and of my mercy. For the Lord says you will give birth, says the Spirit of the Lord, to a son once again whose name is going to be David, says the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands for your own beloveds. We are about to close.